I like what you're where you're going with this bill. I'm a little concerned, and maybe you could explain to me. It would seem just as somebody who spent a lot of time in children's departments that um, a lot, especially that eight-year-old who just called. I'm, I'm thinking of that eight-year-old. Is there a reason the gender neutral seems? I, I get it, but is there a reason we're just not requiring a combination of kids? clothes, kids, toys without a designation? Because I think the tougher step um, in having had different children choose different things to wear, <clears throat> the, the, the gender neutral tends to be boy, uh, boyish clothes for girls, right? Um, trying to satisfy, uh, for example, a boy who wants to wear um, Clothes that are labeled as girls, whether it be pink shirt or dress, that is much more difficult because of the, the signage and because of the expectation. So I just want to know, like, is this a one-step approach or, or are we, um, it, it just seems to me, I just was like, let's get rid of the labels. And while we're at it, just to think about the future, um, standardizing sizes between uh, bo boys and girls, clothes and shoes, is a key component of all of this, being able to kind of wear what you want and for parents to be able to shop accordingly. Just a suggestion for maybe future legislation, but I'd like to know your thought process in creating a gender neutral category rather than just saying, let's get rid of the boys and girls aisle. Thank you very much, Assemblywoman. Um, as you may know, I spent uh, quite some time meeting with the retailers and learning about and hearing from different specialties in the nuance about how they would organize a number of the different categories. Uh, what you're suggesting is something that I think we'd like to go to in the spirit and the intent of what you're discussing. Um, but the bill that we have is trying to not be so prescriptive to allow for the retailers to do what they already are doing. Uh, the bill before us doesn't change anything. This applies to 500 employees or more, and they're already doing it back in 2015. So the attempt was tried to not be too prescriptive, but I share with you the desire that you have specifically on just allowing for the individual and the consumer to make the choice accordingly in an organized fashion. So I share that, uh, but the bill before us was to try to attempt to not be too prescriptive and just to allow for the individual retailer to organize accordingly as they see self it. 